Hola, have you got the basic peg grabs down on your vertigo, but you want to spice up your game a little bit? Well, you've come to the right place because today I'm going to teach you an awesome trick, the no-handed peg grab. The no-handed peg grab is an awesome variation off of the humble peg grab. It's really flashy and it's a good way to maintain control of the stick while getting it up flat and out of the way. Before you hop right into the no-hand peg grab, there are a few prerequisites you're going to want to learn that make learning this a little bit easier. You're going to want to be really comfortable doing no-handers, no-footers, doing tweaks are very important, and obviously doing the peg grab. One foot peg grab and judo are also going to help you nail the no-hand peg grab. First step, go somewhere soft. Find some grass, use a trampoline. You want to figure out how it feels on something soft before you go to concrete. Now this is a trick that you have to fully commit to, so start really small. I've seen some of my really good friends get seriously hurt doing this one, so take your time and learn it right. You're gonna save yourself a little pain down the road. Your first no-handed peg grabs should be really simple. Start with your standard peg grab and just let go of the other handlebar, just a tiny bit. Do this a bunch of times until you get more, more comfortable with it. As you get more comfortable with it, you can take your hand further and further from the handlebars. You can also tweak the pogo stick a lot flatter than doing a regular peg grab. As you tweak your legs outward, be ready to use the hand that is coming off of the handlebars as kind of a counterbalance to keep your body stable in the air. You'll probably end up taking both hands off of the handlebars simultaneously while pulling the stick up with your knees. Think of this portion of the trick as a no-handed tweak. The next step is to reach down with one hand, grab the peg like you'd do on a normal peg grab, and yank it up to really tweak it out and put a lot of style into it. When you start tweaking the grab out, things can start to get a little squirrely. Since this is a no-handed trick, you should really focus on gripping the tube with your knees to make sure you don't lose the stick in the air. I've seen a couple of my friends get seriously injured doing no-hand peg grabs, so really focus on keeping your knees locked onto the cylinder like a vice. If you drop the stick with your knees, you're going to be in serious trouble when you come down. If you feel like the tube is slipping out from between your knees, simply put some super glue on them or dial the trick back down. Do not, do not let the stick slip out from between your knees. Go back to the basic steps, do the peg grab, taking your hand off a little bit and work from there. You're going to land this trick, you're going to be freaking stoked because it's awesome. Well, there you have it. Those are my tips and tricks on how to learn the cool no hand peg grab. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to see how to do even more cool pogo tricks. Drop us a comment below on what you'd like to see next. Smash that thumbs up button. Next time you're out pogoing in your yard showing your mom some tricks, you can go look mom, no hand peg grab.